Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, one of the top reasons I believe Jesus Christ is at the door, he's about to rapture his church, is because I look around this world right now, the tribulation period is casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. More specifically, the mark of the beast, the stage is getting set up for the coming mark of the beast, which will be implemented during the coming tribulation period. The stories that are coming out almost now on an hourly basis are showing that we are racing towards the mark of the beast spoken of in the Bible. Now, the mark of the beast has not been implemented yet. It will not be implemented until during the coming tribulation period. So the order of events here, the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will occur. After the rapture, the Antichrist will be revealed. Once the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, for a week of years, seven years, once the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many for seven years, that will start the seven-year tribulation period. And during the coming tribulation period is when the mark of the beast will, meet, will be implemented. But the story I want to share with you guys today further proves that the world is being conditioned right now to eventually accept the mark of the beast when the time does come. I'm going to jump right to the story. I'm going to share this story with you first, folks, that just came out. And then we're going to go to scripture and see how significant this is. Uh, there's many sources reporting on this, but this is recently in from Planet Today. Look at the title of this article here. WEF, that's for World Economic Forum, says CBDCs, which stands for Central Bank Digital Currencies. So let's put it all together. World Economic Forum says central bank digital currencies must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. Let me share some of this with you. The WEF, the World Economic Forum, has declared that all citizens must be implanted with a CBDC, central bank digital currency, microchip in the very near future in order in order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic things such as purchase food and water. According to Professor Richard Werner, in the very near future, citizens will need to use the latest technology such as a CBDC microchip implant in order to access their bank accounts. I mean, folks, this is absolutely wild. You have the World Economic Forum that has just declared that all citizens must be implanted with a CBDC microchip in the very near future. And they're telling you why. In order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic things such as purchase food and water. And why is this so significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy? Well, I'll tell you why. When you go to the book of Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18, this is after the rapture of the church. So after the rapture of the church, once the Antichrist rises, during the coming tribulation period, the right-hand man of the Antichrist, who's known as the false prophet, listen very carefully here. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 18. And he, this is referring to the future false prophet who's going to be, who is going to be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the man, for it is an, uh, the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six, or simply put, six, six, six. So very clearly here, there is a time coming after the rapture of the church 
when the Antichrist is revealed, and during the coming tribulation period, there is a time coming where the right-hand man of the Antichrist is going to cause everybody that's still here on the planet, it doesn't matter who you are, rich and poor, free and bond, small and great, it doesn't matter. You're going to be required to put something in your right hand or in your forehead. And you're not going to be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life without this mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. Now, what exactly is the mark of the beast going to be? What they try to put in your right hand or in your forehead? And you're not going to be able to participate in society or buy or sell or go about your everyday life? I don't claim to know for sure what the mark of the beast is going to be. My personal opinion, and I could be wrong, is I believe it will be a quantum dot tattoo. However, scripture makes it very clear that they're going to try to put something in your right hand or in your forehead. And you're not going to be able to participate in society, buy, sell, or go about your everyday life without this mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. The Bible makes it very clear that anyone here during this time will have a choice either to accept the mark of the beast or to reject it. And if you accept the mark of the beast, the consequences are going to be catastrophic. You can see right on the screen here in Revelation chapter 14, verse 9 to 11. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest, uh, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and who receiveth the mark of his name. So very clearly, if you find yourself here during the coming tribulation period, and the mark of the beast comes about, they try to implant something in your right hand or in your forehead, and you're not, not going to be able to participate in society, buy, sell, or go about your everyday life without taking this mark of the beast. If you take it, the Bible makes it very clear you will be doomed to hell for eternity. At this point, again, the rapture of born-again believers in Jesus Christ will occur before the tribulation even begins. But if you're left behind and you're here during this coming tribulation and you take the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead, and you're going to have a choice. You're going to have to reject it. You're going to have to accept Christ. And for doing that, you will be most likely killed for your faith. But if you accept the mark of the beast, the Bible makes it very clear you will be doomed to hell for eternity because you will be pledging allegiance to the Antichrist. You'll be pledging allegiance to Satan. And you will be doomed to hell for eternity. Here's the main point. You look at stories like this, that the World Economic Forum has declared that all citizens must be implanted with a CBDC microchip in the very near future, or you won't be able to participate in society. Hmm, that's what we just read about in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 18. And tons of the other stories, which are almost happening on an hourly basis all over the world. I mean, just look at all the stores you walk into now, and you can scan your palm, just wave your palm over the reader to pay your bills. We are being conditioned, folks. The technology was not there in previous generations for this type of system spoken of in Revelation chapter 13 to be in effect. But it's here, and it's here right now. So no, I'm not saying that the story I just shared with you is the mark of the beast. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that it's all being set up, folks. The tribulation period is casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now, and the stage is getting set up for the future mark of the beast. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ needs to occur before the Antichrist is revealed, before the tribulation period begins, and before... The mark of the beast is fully implemented, and we see it all casting its shadow on the earth right here and right now. How close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now, and you do not have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. 
This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross at Calvary, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very rare literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Horrific. Eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. He's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised and make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.